Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the sunshine was fading through increasing clouds this afternoon, but overall a decent day. Temperatures are fairly comfortable for this time of year in the middle 30s. Despite the cloud cover, live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar continues uh, on the dry side. Once again, multiple radar sweeps scanning the skies and, uh, again, not finding any precipitation. So looking good. I mean, heading out tonight, your Friday night dinner, movie, whatever. The uh, weather should not be a problem in terms of travel, but this uh, much-advertised mid-Atlantic snowstorm is a near miss by only a couple of hundred miles, so dodging the bullet. But it will turn windy and colder around here in response to that storm passing off to our south. Snow lovers, you may get another chance by the middle of next week. We'll, we'll talk about that in the seven day in just a second. Downtown Providence, cloudy skies right now, temperature at 34, wind chill 27, the wind not quite as gusty as it was yesterday, northwest at 8, and the relative humidity is still quite dry at 41%. Temperatures now anywhere between 30 and 35, 30 Smithfield, westerly at 35, Newport at 34, as well as New Bedford and Taunton, just above freezing now at 33. You can see the clouds, high thin clouds streaming in responsible for the uh, the sunshine to fade away. Uh, the air remains dry overhead as the uh, snow across the mid-Atlantic coastline just uh, south and west of New York City, so it's yet to snow in the Big Apple, but it will do so overnight through tomorrow morning. Here's a wider view. I want to show you where the bullseye of the uh, snowfall accumulations will occur right in here. Places like D.C. and Philly and just south of New York City near blizzard conditions with one to two feet of snow. So, I mean, Normally, a storm in that position would be pretty concerned around here, but like uh, so many storms the last couple of weeks, the jet stream is going to guide it out to sea rather than up the coastline into New England. So for this evening, we are cloudy and dry. 11 o'clock will drop off to 26. Cloudy skies overnight. Temperatures dropping through the upper teens. And then tomorrow morning, clouds and temperatures on the chilly side. 11 o'clock in the morning, only recovering to 23. And then during the afternoon, cloudy, windy, noticeably cold. We may see a few flurries, though it looks like the better chance would be the further south you go near the south shore. Here it is in more detail. Brisk, gray, and cold. Small craft advisory. Perhaps some light snow showers and flurries along the south shore. Just harmless fringe effects from the storm system well to our south. Further to the north, just cloudy and dry. But look at the high temperatures. Only mid-20s and with a gusty wind, it'll feel colder. Very windy on the Cape. Some light snow showers there. Nothing more than that. Low 30s to the upper 20s from a Taunton Fall River and New Bedford. As we take a peek at the at storm system one more time, look how close. We're missing this thing by a mere 200 miles. I mean, I'm still going to watch it closely, but it looks like the bulk of it will stay out to sea. So cloudy, windy, cold tomorrow, 26 with a coastal flurry. Brighter on Sunday, but chilly at 29. Dry Monday and Tuesday. Snow lovers, we will try again for you on Wednesday with clouds and the chance of snow and a temperature at around uh, 32 degrees. I mean, not often places like D.C. get, uh, you know, a couple of feet of snow, considering I think they only had seven inches last year. So this is a pretty big deal for them, but a miss for us as it just goes by by a mere 200 miles. That's pretty close in meteorology. It really is yeah. pretty close. All right. Thanks, Tony.